We're here today to take a look at the ZG Scene 2.4 GHz wireless microphone system. Pretty cool little setup. What I like about it is just the ease of use. So some of the other ones uh, have more controls on the unit. But this one in particular, it's just kind of a dummy proof. You put it on there. Uh, it has a light on the transmitter. It has a light on the receiver. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's take a look here. This thing is fast charging. It uses USB-C. It has a built-in microphone as well as the lavalier microphone that comes with it. It uses 2.4 gigahertz transmission. It also has real-time monitoring, which is cool if you have a camera that doesn't have a headphone jack you can just plug it into the side of the receiver and monitor that way. So that's a nice little feature it comes with. All right, so like I said, it's a transmission type is 2.4 gigahertz. The charging power is five volts at one amp. It has an omnidirectional pattern. The battery life on these is about six hours. I got just over and just under six hours in the two tests. Service distance is 50 meters is what they're saying for unobstructed view and about 30 meters for obstructed view. All right, so let's take a look at what you get inside the box. You get a nice, nice padded case. And this at the time of filming was $89.99. So let's see what you get for that. Instruction manual, little warranty card, nice foam padding inside. You have your receiver and your transmitter. Also comes with the little cold shoe adapter. Now this is a pretty cool little uh, thing included. It has a cold shoe on the back of it, but it is a spring-loaded camera holder. So you can screw your tripod right into here, attach your receiver right onto here to plug into your smartphone, mount the smartphone right on this little tripod, and bam, wherever you go, you're always gonna have your phone. Take this little kit with you. You have this little tripod that feels pretty sturdy. It's a hard plastic. You got the clip. So you can set up and do impromptu interviews just about anywhere. All right, also the, the transmitter and the receiver both have internal batteries and they charge by USB-C. And as you can see on the cable, it has two USB-C ends, so you can charge both units at the same time. Comes with two cables. So one is for your phone. So it has the three bands you can see as compared to the two bands like on the TRS. This is the TRRS cable. And it comes with two uh, windscreens or dead cats, whatever you want to call it. They twist onto the end of the unit. All right, so here you can see the size of the transmitter and the receiver's the same size. It has a little clip on the back. And what I like about the clip is it's the same dimensions as a hot shoe. So you can slide the receiver right onto your cold shoe, hot shoe, whatever you got, and plug it in your camera. You can clip this in your pocket, on your belt, uh, wherever. It has a power button and has a has a mute button so you can see here when you so you can see there I wasn't making any sound the light was flashing so it goes from a solid blue to a flashing blue when it's muted also right on the top here is the built-in microphone and that's where the dead cat would go on the sides the USB-C connector for charging the unit. So like I said, it's small in size. You're hearing it right now with the lapel mic so you can see what you think of the audio quality. 
comes with a nice case and some nice uh, peripherals to help you out that little tripod is nice for the price it's something I definitely recommend let's unplug the lapel mic now and we'll test the audio from the built-in microphone all right now we're on the built-in microphone of the ZG scene atom transmitter this is the inbuilt microphone now we're going back to la the lapel mic this is the lapel mic of the ZG scene atom transmitter this is the lapel mic of the ZG scene atom 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone all right so another cool feature on this uh, like I said it doesn't have a lot of displays or anything like that but it gives you what you need when the units are off you can just tap the power button depending on the amount of flashes that will let you know the charge within 25 percent so four flashes it's at full charge three flashes 75 percent two flashes 50 percent one flash 25 percent are below so it's not super precise but it lets you know okay I need to charge this or I got enough time left for a couple more minutes whatever so this was just a quick test to kind of show you that what you can expect of the audio quality of this little setup like I said nice case I think it sounds good uh, for the price I highly recommend it thanks a lot